Hey guys, this is Mylando. Welcome to an unboxing of uh, Bones 3 Corset. Cor set. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, from Reaper Bones Kickstarter. And uh, it's finally here after, uh, it's like, what, a, a year late? But <laughs> I'm sure it's worth the wait. So uh, let's take a look at the box first. It's pretty decent. It holds all the all the one over like 150 minis, I think. Let's let's take a look at the back. Okay, reflect reflection. Okay. Uh, yes, it contains over 150 highly detailed plastic miniatures, uh, ready to paint or uh, play. And I think this is the most awesome bit from this box. Warning: This product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Well, I don't think anyone cares, right? So uh, let's open this up. So in this box, there are four big bags of minis here. These these are uh, four big bags, and um, there are also some of these these sprues, these uh, weapons. So uh, let's open some of them. Starting off with the first bag, there are four bags in uh, in total. So this is the first one. Let's uh, cut this open and let's see what we have inside. Okay. They are they are very they are actually pretty detailed. Okay, that's one. And then we have this dwarf. So uh, this, these, these are actually better than, than, uh, than the ones I got before. I think uh, the details. I mean, is it's much better. I think the 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 lines are uh, more crisp than the bones before. I I am impressed. And then we have this two-headed... Is it a wolf? Or is it a dog? I don't know. Oh, this shield is amazing. Look at that. Look at that! And painting this is gonna be so fun. Look at all the, all the detail of the, of the. Was it, is it a cloak or whatever he's wearing? Here we have a female dwarf with a hammer, and uh, and, and a hammer, and a hammer, and a hammer. Is that all she had? What is she holding? A tooth? No, no, no! It's one of it's one of those spikes holding one of those spikes. Here is another dwarf. You know, because these are, these are very, these are uh, bone white, so can't really see the detail much. I have to, I have to put it a little bit in the shade for you guys to see. Here we have another dwarf. Is this a is this a gnome or what is this? It's it's really really small. Traveler, gnome. It's gonna take a while to get through all of these. Oh, wow, look at this. It's very nice. I think the detail on his face is pretty nice considering it's a it's a it's a bone kind of um like bone material. It's pretty good. It's a sword. The sword is a little bit bendy, but we can fix that. It's dual wielding old man. With a bendy sword. Our first archer of the day. 
talking <laughs> talking about bendy sword i don't think anyone can beat this one look at that look at that like <laughs> it kind of the, the sword gave up look well um you can actually fix this with some hot water because it's bone material you can uh, put it in hot water uh put it back in place and then shove it in cold water and then it should uh, it should stay got the wizard magic missiles i'm not sure if you can cast it with a with a, with a st staff but anyway I'm not sure if this is an archer or a bard. Probably an archer. I think I think that's a bow. This is probably a monk. Uh a magic user. Wow, look at the face. You can see the face, the detail on the face. If you can ignore my hand at the back. Necromancer, maybe? I like this guy. He has a book in his hand. And, uh, what is this? A hammer? This might be another monk with a, with a staff. And uh, this guy, I don't know who this guy is. He has a glaive. And here we have Death with his scythe. Here we have some creatures. This is this is like some kind of those Asian Asian lion kind of thing. It's <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Wow, look at his face. Creepy. A dog companion here. This giant snake is actually pretty cool. All the details you can see. Look at the eyes. Eyes. It, it don't, it's missing a tongue. That's that's what it's missing. The scales. And last we have this troll-looking monster thing. Let's cut it up. Comes in uh, three, four pieces. Three, three pieces, three. Okay. Here's the body, the body of it, and uh, the head. He's kind of ugly. Awesome. <laughs> He's so ugly. Let's uh, put him in here. Like that. And then his arms goes in nicely like that. Okay, okay. Alright, here you go. This guy. First guy that needs assem assembling. Just needs a little bit of glue and then that's fine. Or or you can magnetize it if you want. I I don't think there's a really much need to magnetize this thing though. Just glue it in and it's good. Okay, the second bag. Okay, I separated them into uh, several categories. This is the uh, bonus 24 figure bonus. Um, there's four of each uh, type. So uh, let's take a look at this first. The ones in front. These are the spiders. These are the spiders. They are. They are. They are. They have their own little tiny base right here. There you go. I think, I think these are maggots or, or centipede? Centipede! They look like centipedes. And here are the four lizard men. This is the spear. The guy with the, the lizard man with the spear. With the club and shield can't really see their face. I think their face is kind of messed up. It's, it's not It's not as detailed. Let, let me actually see. Can't really tell unless I put a wash over it. 
but at this moment, they look kind of messed up. But the rest of the detail, oh, look at the six packs and the shield. Details on these are still 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 pretty pretty good. You can see the eye and nostrils on this one. And uh, what I like about bones is they don't break. They don't break ever. Well unless you like floor like step on them and rub them against something. Uh, apart from that, they're pretty sturdy. Here we have the lizard archer, and uh, oh, he's he's oh he's pulling an arrow out. That, this is pretty nice. Yeah, this, that's the lizard army. These are the minions. The next set in this bag is uh, the Wild West Oz. There are six miniatures in this set, and uh, here's the first one. Guy with a gun. Uh, might need a little bit of cleaning on his gun though. Those uh, mold lines. Is this the Wicked Witch of Oz? We got ourselves a Dorothy. She has a gun, and the dog. I don't remember the name of the of the dog. To Toto. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a yeah, not not that much of an Oz fan. And uh, look at her face. The detail of her face. She looks so evil. Look at that. Maybe this is the Tin Man. I I don't know, but he has he's he's robotic and he has a axe. Uh, this is this is Scarecrow. And I have no idea who this is. It's a flying monkey with, with robotic wings. It's e evil monkey. This reminds me of, um, oh, the Telltale game. The one, the one from, um, 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 the wolf. Wolf, oh my god, I forgot. Oh, oh, wolf. The, the wolf among us. Right, 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 right. It looks like that monkey in, in, in there. With the wings, the flying monkey. The next set we have the dwarves. We have five. Ooh, five miniatures in this set. And here's the first a dwarf. I I I I really like what they did with the dwarves. They they are they are very uh, detailed. Here's one with the dual axe. And uh, this one might be a warrior, I think, or, or I'm not sure if it's a paladin. Maybe a warrior. And here's the next one. I really like their beard. Their beards are actually um, um, pretty detailed. I can't really show. Here, here we go. They're pretty detailed. You can see um, each strand of, well, thick strands of hair, really. Not each strand. Thick strands. But hey, they're separated. Nice. Uh, this dwarf here might be the cleric of the group. Hey, 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 this angle is pretty good. You can see all the, all the details in it. There we go. Uh, the next set here, I don't know how to pronounce their name. They are the Hob... Hob go bag get dot. Yeah, I'm gonna butcher their name, but yeah, here we go. Uh, there are four in this set, and uh, the first one here. Um, here we go. The Kickstarter only showed us uh, the concept art, but I think they turn out pretty well. Look at the muscles. I I, I like I like the po the pose this guy's in. It's pretty neat. We have an archer. Oh, 
can't tell what class this guy is in, but he has a shield. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice patterned shield, and uh, and a and <laughs> a flimsy sword. Look at this sword; it's flimsy. Oh, it's, is it stuck? Yeah, this sword is a little bit flimsy, and you, I don't think you can fix it. It's stuck onto him. The last one here, we have a little warrior guy. Okay, this set here is uh, the Pretty Deadly set. Uh, a total of five miniatures. All the pretty ladies. Here we have our first paladin lady here. I, I can't tell if their face is messed up. Uh, that's, but her hair is nice. Her hair is nice. <laughs> her face looks pretty decent, I think. Uh, similar to the goblin, um, these only had there were only uh, concept arts of these uh, on the Kickstarter page. So they they turned out pretty nice. And she's an elven lady. Shield is nice, and the cloak, the way they did the cloak. Non-human, I don't, I don't know what race she is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I have no idea what race she is. It's very detailed as well, the face. Got fangs. Uh, this here is Sophie. Here's her base. Where's her body? Is uh. Huh. All right. Here we go. We have Sophie. It's a little bit flimsy. Like all the pieces come, come like fall apart very easily. Look at that. Look. Oh, she she yeah, see. So uh, this one definitely needs some glue on, and the pieces are pretty flimsy too. Everything is everything is falling apart. Everything is squishy. Her wings, everything is squishable. And the last three in the in the second bag are uh, these guys, Mr. and Mrs. Bones. Let's see, we have Mr. and Mrs. Bones. And the last piece here, the little bird, this this little um, vulture bird. I have no idea what this is. It's not on the list. At least I can't find it. So, if you guys know what it is, let me know. It looks pretty good. It's on a gravestone. <laughs> 